Welcome to your home garage, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the throttle position sensor, or TPS for short, in this 2002 Dodge Durango. Now there are eight telltale symptoms of a defective TPS sensor. Now first off, the TPS in your engine transmits information about the position of your throttle to the electronic control module, or ECM. It consists of mechanical parts, which may become worn and require replacement. A malfunctioning TPS will relay bad data to your car's computer and usually result in poor fuel economy. And knowing the symptoms of a defective throttle position sensor can help you quickly diagnose the problem and make the needed corrections. Now the eight symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor are an unexpected bucking or jerking of the vehicle, sudden idle urges, sudden engine stalling without any apparent reason, hesitation while accelerating, sudden surges in speed while driving on the highway, intermittent flashing of the check engine light, difficulties in changing gears, and a drastic drop in fuel economy. Now for this particular situation, we were experiencing all eight of those symptoms, so it was pretty easy for us to diagnose a faulty TPS. However, in case yours was intermittent or in the early stages, you can easily check this with a, with a multimeter, and I'll link the process of how to check that in the description below. So to remove and replace your TPS is a fairly simple process. You've got your wiring harness and two torque screws. So for tools, we're going to be using a T25, a small ratchet, and for our TPS, the kit comes with two brand new screws and two gaskets. So there's a little tab on the bottom of the harness. You're just going to want it to press that in and then pull it gently. And now let's just grab our ratchet and remove those screws. Now I know based on the new screws that came in the package that these are fairly long. So I'm just switching over to a screwdriver so I could get a better feel and I don't actually drop the screw in the engine bay. And now you'll easily be able to remove the throttle position sensor. And always make sure that the old and new part look exactly the same. And before we go ahead and install our new gaskets on the TPS, always make sure that the old gasket is removed from the housing. And also clean that throttle body housing so your new TPS seats properly. And just note that your original TPS may not have used a seal, just an O-ring. But your new TPS requires the extra seal, so go ahead and attach your paper gasket, align it to the screw holes, followed by the O-ring. And because the TPS that I removed had the wiring harness on the top, I'm going to go ahead and install this one the exact same way. And there is a torque spec for these screws, which is either 60 inch pounds or 5 foot pounds. And just before I attach the wiring harness, I'm just going to go to the other side of the engine bay and move the throttle cable just to make sure that there's no binding with the new TPS. And then just go ahead and attach the wiring harness with the clip down and push it in gently until it clicks. And then just remove all your tools from the engine bay so we can safely start the engine. 
So I just started the vehicle and this is idling a lot better. It's lower and it doesn't have any sudden idle surges. And even when I blip the throttle, it settles right back down with no additional surges. And hopefully you found this video beneficial in diagnosing and replacing your throttle position sensor. And make sure you help to keep this channel going by hitting that like button, sharing this video with a friend, and please comment below as I reply to all. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time on your own garage.